choir come from Holy Cross Innocent Parish. Holy Innocent Parish in Tasia. Mzifu Yesu Christo. Wakisaidiwa na Dipol Choir. Thank you very much. Tafadhali na hiyo furaha tuweze kuimba kikamilifu na tuweze kusherekea siku hii yetu hawa mandugu zetu wakiwekwa daraja la usemasi. Asante. Karibu kwao. Wale ambao watatuongoza kwa masomo tuko na sister speciosa na seminarians from Dipol responsible sam also our people
for the procession as we begin the mass. Tafadhali tuweze kusimama sisi wote tuweze kuanza hii misa takatifu kuwa furaha tafadhali tuweze kuwa na furaha kama uko na simu tafadhali tuweze kuizima tuweze kuweka tayari ili misa takatifu iwe ya manufaa karibuni kwaya tuweze kutangamka tuweze kufurahi tafadhali siku hii ya leo ambaye Mungu ametujalia kawaza hawa ndugu zetu everyone let us sing together Praise God together, all our Christians and all our Christians. Mariboni Sang.
Priests who are here with us today, sisters, religious men and women who are here today, parents to our candidates to be ordained deacon, all guests who are here today, I want to welcome you to Depot Center. This is known as St. Vincent Depot Center. We are very, very happy to have all of you here. Na karibuni, karibuni sana hapa dipo senda. I want to welcome our provincial superior to come invite His Excellency to lead us in this Eucharistic celebration. <coughs> Father Edwin, our provincial superior, please. Your Excellency. <coughs> the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, Hubertus Maria Van Wegen, Maria Van Wegen, clergy here gathered, dear confreres, religious men and women, <coughs> our ordinaries and their parents, all invited guests. To see for Jesu Christo. Just want to take this opportunity to welcome you, Your Excellency, to this congregation, Vice Province of Kenya, Congregation of the Mission, and also to invite you here to lead us in this Eucharistic celebration, to ordain our three men to the Yakonet, <coughs> to bless us, to pray for us, to bless the people of God. Your Excellency, you're most welcome. Tumpi Giyama Kofi. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Special occasion for the St. Vincent de Paul Society as we have three candidates, three diaconates to be. They just presented themselves to me, Alan, Anthony, and Alex, the AAA. Maybe not from the AA club, but, I don't know. but otherwise, maybe, yes, who knows, drunk of the Holy Spirit, which we are going to receive tomorrow, once again, in a special way on this beautiful Feast of Pentecost. Today, we are at the feast, at the eve of that feast, the Holy Spirit descends on the disciples and descends today also in a special way, and we'll call for that Holy Spirit on our three deacons to be, who have prepared them through a long preparation for many years to come. And that also teaches us the Holy Spirit is not working into the void. There needs to be a foundation, a foundation of our own work with which the Holy Spirit can work. At the beginning of this Eucharist, this communion with Christ himself who gives himself to us in order that we would be ready to give ourselves to him. At the beginning of this Eucharist, we want to open our hearts for the presence of that spirit, that spirit that dwells already in our hearts but desires to take ever more possession of our hearts. Therefore, at the beginning of this Eucharist, we want to do away with everything that, in a sense, prevents the presence of God in our hearts, we ask for God's merciful love, that he may cleanse us from everything that separates us from him. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare <coughs> ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. In what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask as if Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters. Grant, we pray, that these, your servants, whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
masomo katika kitabu cha nabii Isaya. Roho wa Bwana Mungu yupo juu yangu. Kwa sababu Bwana amenipaka mafuta. Amenituma niwahubirie maskini habari njema kuwaponya waliovunjika moyo. Kuwatangazia mateka uhuru na wafungwa kuwa huru kutangaza mwaka wa rehema ya Bwana na siku ya kisasi cha Mungu wetu kuwafaridi wenye uchungu na kuweka juu ya hao waliosioni taji badala ya majivu kuwapa mafuta ya furaha badala ya maombolezo vazi la sifa badala ya roho nzito neno la bwana zaburi yetu ni wimbo wa kichwa nasikia sauti ya bwana mtunzi akiwa ni Eric Luka Mauma
Second reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now, in these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists murmured against the Hebrews because their widow, widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, it is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good rapture, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude. And they, clothed, they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicona, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a, a proclate of Antioch. These they sat before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands upon them. And the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. 
gospel acclamation. <laughs> I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. According to John, Glory to you, o Lord. at that time, Jesus said to his disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I've called you friends, for, I, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made it known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruits, that your fruits should be abide, so that whatever you ask in my Father's name, you may, give, you may be given to, to you. This I command you to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. At this moment, we begin the right of ordination by the elections of the candidate. Wakati huu basi, tunaanza liturgia ya kuwaita wale ambao atapewa daraja la usemasi. Na ningependa kukaribisha Dikon Owen Mwene ili aweze kutuongoza wa kuwaita wateule. Dikon will lead us on the calling of the candidates. Let those to be ordained deacons come forward. Alan Alex Odi Otieno. Present. <laughs> Mr. Alex Odi Otieno of the congregation of the mission is the son of Johnson Odada Njara and Gladys Achieng. 
He comes from Blessed Sacrament or Young Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Homer Bay and also raised and baptized at St. Philip's Mukumari Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Kakamega. Alan Kamungisha Ronald. Present. Mr. Alan Kamugisha of the Congregation of the Mission is the son of Katusave Levi and the late Kasamire Oliver. He come from St. Jude, Jude Town Church Parish, Masindi, in the Catholic Diocese of Hoima, Uganda, and also baptized in Bujumbura Cathedral Parish. Anton Kyoko Musoka. <laughs> Mr. Anton Kyoko Mudoka of the Congregation of the Mission is the son of Michael Mudoka Ndolo and Merigureti Uwayua. He comes from the Mbitini Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Machakos. At this moment, we welcome Vice Provincial, our visitor, Most Reverend Father Edwin Mugwe, for the presentation. Welcome, Father. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain this man, our brothers for service as deacon. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the diaconate. Thanks be to God. Sasa wameteuliwa rasmi ili waweze kuingia katika daraja la usimasi and at this moment we welcome His Excellency for the homily. Wakati huu tunakaribisha 
basi ni msio wetu ili aweze kupuongoza na pia kupuongoza katika liturjia ya homilia karibu Today, bear with me if this homily is to go to be a bit more theological. So, put your seats in a right opposition, fasten your seat belts, refrain from smoking, and most importantly, turn your phones off. Now, maybe some of you, and I think especially the students should, should know about that, have witnessed the liturgy of the Orthodox churches. Think of the Greek Orthodox Church or the Russian Orthodox Church. Myself, having been the nuncio in Eritrea, we have many times present we were many times present at that kind of liturgy of the Gaius Rite, the rite of the Coptic Church in Eritrea and Ethiopia. Now in that liturgy, even more than in the Catholic liturgy, the deacon has a key role to play. He is always the one who will invite the people to answer, he will call them for prayer, and he will call them forward to bring their gifts. It's like a continuous dialogue between the priest and the people through the deacon being the intermediate between the two. Now the priest himself is many times hidden behind a curtain, as they call it, the iconostasis, a wall in a sense which separates the sanctuary on this side and the people on the other side. And it is the deacon who comes in and out of that holiest of holy to make that kind of connection between the sacred on the one hand and the profane on the other hand. He is the mediator. He comes from the altar to the people and from the people to the altar. He is going through the wall of separation, the iconostasis. Now, in fact, the Greek word deacon, diakonos, means as much as the one who does the errands, the one who is a servant, the one who is the minister to the king. So our CSs would be deacons in a sense. Actually, that is precisely what a deacon does in the Orthodox liturgy. He is running errands all the time. He informs the people in the church about the proceedings of the liturgy in the sanctuary, behind the curtains, behind the iconostasis. He reads from the Holy Scripture. He leads the people in the collective prayers. So the deacon is really that intermediate between the priest and the people, between the sacred and the profane. Now the church reckons, considers the deacons as the historical successors of the Levites. The name Levi, in fact, derives, derives from the word to escort, to walk together, or to join. And that has a story behind it, why, it is called, why he is called Levi. Leah, who had been the first wife of Patriarch Jacob, said at the birth of her third son, now this time she said, my husband will be joined to me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. So to say Levi was a gift of Leah to Jacob in the hope that this boy, the third one, would rejoin Jacob to her because Jacob had distanced himself from her in his anger, and there had been tension between the two. Levi is the one who should, once again, put husband and wife together, Leah and Jacob together again, make them work, work, walk together. Thus, the Levites, that is the deacons, have a role to play in joining in the walking together of the people of Israel with their God. The Levite, the diakonos, the deacon, joins the people to the altar, the profane, the sacred. 
that second reading that we read today illustrates it in a different way. The Hellenists, that is the Greek-speaking community, had been complaining that their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of the food. So the Twelve Apostles appointed seven deacons, that's where the first time that word deacon came up, to serve the community and to join the two groups, the Hellenists, that is the Greek speakers, and the Hebrews, the ones who speak Aramaic or Hebrew, together again. And those first deacons, seven in total, Stephen, Philip, Prochoros, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicolaus, had to create, so to say, an atmosphere of love and acceptation through their work of charity, through their work among the people, assuring that the church remained one body based on the Twelve Apostles. Now here in Kenya, in this specific situation, the diaconate is many times seen as just one stepping stone to priesthood. It is, so to say, considered like a last test before you allow to sit for the final exam, that is the priestly ordination. And for some of you three, I'm pretty sure it became like a relief when you received the news that finally you have been, appoint you have been appointed to become a deacon because that opens the door for you to the priesthood. In many countries, however, the diaconate is a institution in its own right. The Second Vatican Council reintroduced the institution of the permanent deacon, and many dioceses all over the world have a number of permanent deacons, that is, deacons who will never ever become a priest and who have been actually chosen to be permanently deacon. My own diocese, the Netherlands, for example, counts more than 50 of them, many times married men. On the other hand, one has to acknowledge that the diaconate ordination, from a sacramental point of view, participates and anticipates in the priestly ordination, the sacrament of the priesthood. Because, think about it carefully, we do not have a sacrament of the diaconate. The ordination to deacon, in a sense, anticipates certain aspects of the priestly ordination. To remain with that image of the iconostasis, of that curtain, of that wall between the sacred and the profane, the diaconate ordination opens some doors into the sanctuary. But it's not yet the royal door that gives direct access to the altar. In fact, in the Book of Ordination, as we have it here behind us, there is a sermon already ready in the rite of ordination of deacons, which says, The deacon, consecrated by the laying on of hands that comes down to us from the apostles, and bound more closely to the service of the altar, will perform works of charity in the name of the bishops or the pastor. With the help of God, is to go about all these duties in such a way that you will recognize him as a disciple of him who came not to be served, but to serve. So the sacrament, the sacramental action, is about the laying on of hands, which binds you three, Anthony, Alan, and Alex, more closely to the service of the altar. That is, it happens step by step. You're, on, you're drawn now into the sacred liturgy, into the sacred action, but you're not yet completely involved yet. You're allowed to get more closely, but it's not yet the end of the process. Being bound more closely to the service of the altar draws you closer to the priest and to the bishop. In fact, as you better know than me, because you have just studied it, in modern theology, the deacon is very much bound to the bishop. It is to him that he is most connected, and much less, for example, to them to his parish priest. Remember how at the beginning we mentioned that the diaconos, the deacon, is the person who runs errands, who is the servant of the king. And maybe one may also add that he is like an ambassador, as I am, who presents the will of his sovereign. The deacon represents the will of the bishop and the priest. Bishop and priest act in the person of Christ, in the sacraments. The deacon then 
represents the one who does act in the person of Christ without being sacramental himself. A deacon becomes a minister of the sacrament, but he's not yet the actor. It is implied in one of the questions I'm going to ask you just now in a few minutes. Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you are a minister at the altar? You are a minister, yes, a deacon, who kneels down for the presence of Christ under the signs of bread and wine, who assists the priest in his sacred office, and who most importantly conforms, confirms, conforms his life to the example of Christ, whose body and blood he will minister on the altar. And he also, if I may add, brings it to the people during Holy Mass at home or as a viaticum to the dying. Going back to the quotation that I just mentioned from the sermon, the ready-made sermon there in the book of ordination, it says, within one breath, consecrated by the laying on of hands that come down from the apostles and bound more closely to the service of the altar, he will perform works of charity, works of charity, in the name of the bishop or the pastor. Thus, the ordination has to do, yes, with service to the altar, as mentioned already, but it seems even more with performing works of charity in the name of the bishop or the priest. So it's, it appears it's like a sacramental link with those works of charity. Works of charity, charity that doesn't sound sacramental at all. Charity in itself doesn't make you think of the light of candles or the ringing of church bells or the, the, the beautiful colors of liturgical vestment or the scent of the incense. Works of charity, they have much more to do with poorly lit rooms, with people who scream in pain and cough, about people who are sick and on their deathbed, about dirty clothes, about being gray and torn, or as Pope Francis would mention it, works of charities has to do with the smell of the sheep. At first, all that seems to be a bit surprising. Why a sacramental ordination for something which is so basic like the works of charity? How does that exactly connect? Why something so high and important and lofty like a sacrament for something so earthly like works of charity. Where is that sacrament there? What is that mystery in that? As mentioned before, the ordination of the diaconate is like an anticipation, a first step towards the priesthood, which then fully unfolds in the ordination to the episcopacy. But that first step, the ordination to the diaconate, conveys something important. So, if I may say, the foundation of the entire sacrament. In this ordination, the cornerstone is placed, the cornerstone on which the entire sacrament is built up. Let me quote something from Holy Scripture, from the Gospel of John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus got up from the supper, laid aside his outer garments, and wrapped a towel around his waist, and after that he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel that was around him. We all recognize this passage from the Gospel of John, which is read every Holy Thursday again, and which is the basis of the sacrament of the priesthood. Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. So, with other words, Jesus himself has become a deacon who is serving at the table. The washing of the feet of the disciples is the basis of the entire sacrament of the priesthood, from deacon up to bishop. It is that basic sacrament, so to say, that is given to you today. And what is that sacrament? Sacrament to wash the feet of the disciples as Jesus did. To give yourself entirely as Jesus did. All the rest, your serving at the altar, the reading of the gospel, the preaching, the baptizing, the... It's all secondary to this because it is based and rooted on the washing of the feet 
the self-giving of Christ. What we can learn from this, what we all can learn from this, that if you want to be a good priest in the future, then you need to know how to learn to wash the feet of others. You need to learn how to go around in poorly lit rooms. You need to know how to assist people who are sick and poor. You need not to be afraid of dirt and stench. You need to be ready to adopt the smell of the sheep, as Pope Francis used to say. So, going back to the beginning of my sermon, remember how I told you that the deacon is the intermediate between the sacred and the profane, and how in the Orthodox liturgy, the deacon is moving constantly from one side to the other, connecting thus the two separate worlds, the sacred and the profane. It is now your role as a deacon to carry the dirt of the world to the altar in the sanctuary and return to bring the cleansing water from the side of Christ to the dirt of the world. The deacon will have to open the doors of the sanctuary to the darkness of our times so that the light of the altar, the light of Christ himself, might pierce through the darkness of sin and death and enlighten it. It is the role of the deacon to bring the sick, the paralyzed, the depressed and the dying to the altar of the Lord so that the healing power of the Eucharist, Christ himself, might heal them and strengthen them. It is the role of the deacon to open up the doors and the windows of the sanctuary so that the stench of the sheep may enter and that it might be purified with the sweet, sweet smell of the body of Christ. This is my commandment we heard today. This is my commandment. That you love one another, that you love each and every one as I have loved you. Or, as we heard in the first reading of today, you are sent to bring the good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, release to the prisoners, and life to the dying. Amen. Basi tutukue na fasi kidogo, tuweze kutafakari kusu umilia na utuba ambayo tunasikiza. Let us take a moment and reflect on the word of God we've just heard. We will now proceed to call the elect so that they may come in front of the nusio to make their promises. Wakati huu na walika, wale wateule, wadaraja la osimasi, ili wajonge mbele, ili wawezi kweka nadhiri yao mbele ya nusio na pia mbele ya mkuu wa shirika.
Dear sons, before you enter the order of the Aconet, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Therefore, do you resolve to be consecrated for the Church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition? I do. Those of you who are prepared to embrace the celibate state, do you resolve to keep forever this commitment as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and man? I do. Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and what is required to you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world? I do. Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar? I do. With the help of God. My dear son, do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to hold fast to the, to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith and word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition? I do. Do you resolve to keep forever this commitment of celibacy as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and man? I do. Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world? I do. Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar? I do, with the help of God. My dear son, do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith and word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition? I do. Do you resolve to keep forever the commitment of celibacy of the celibate state as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven and the service of God and man? I do. Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world? I do. Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar? I do with the help of God. What follows is now promise of obedience. Any nafata wata kuja iliyoweze pokelewa na pia jisalimisha ya kwamba watati yale amba watambiwa na skofu na pia mku wa shirika
Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to you. Basi, sisi wote tutasimama, tukiongozwa kwa litania na kwa na seminaristi. Fadali tuweze kusimama kwa upole. My dear people, let us then pray to God the All-Powerful Father, that, that God the All-Powerful Father will mercifully pour out the grace of His blessing on these, the servants, whom in His kindness He raises to the Holy Order of the Diaconate. Na 
Kati Fukatari na Wasiena Utuombe Mtakati Fu Francisco wa Asisi Utuombe Mtakati Fu Josephi na Bakita Utuombe Mtakatifu karoni luanga na wenzie Utu ope Mtakatifu matini wapore Utu ope Mtakatifu vincenti wapaulo Utu ope Mtakatifu Luisa wa Marilaki Utu ope Mtakatifu Elizabeth Setoni Utu ope Mtakatifu Francisca Regis Kleti Utu ope Mtakatifu Joanne Antidetoret Utu ope Mtakatifu Yusino wa Jacobi Utu ope Mtakatifu Gabriel Barbwa Utu ope Mtakatifu Katarina Labore Utu ope Mtakatifu Yohane Shirini na Tatu Utu ope Mtakatifu Yohane Paulo Wapili Utu ope Mtakatifu Anol Johnson Utu ope Mtakatifu Kevini Utu ope Maraka Frederick Yosanami Utu ope Baraka Rosa Linarendu Utu Ombe Baraka Irena Stefani Utu Ombe Wataka Tifu Ote Wa Mungu
Mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing these men we present, for in, your judge, in our judgment we believe them worthy to exercise sacred ministries through Christ our Lord. The elect we may kneel down.
Hare of course Krishna. Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, give of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged but make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provision for every age as you order all creation through him who is your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that the church, his body, adorned with manifold heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of its members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. And as once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred offices to serve in your name. And so in the first days of your church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your sons apostles appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry, that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying on of hands, they entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. We beseech you, O Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours who will minister at your altar and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon them, O Lord, we pray the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May there abound in them every gospel virtue, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commandments shine forth in their conduct, so that by the example of their way of life, they may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of a clear conscience, may they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, so that by imitating on earth your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. See, see what to say, Amen. Amen. And now we have Deacon Alex Odie Otieno, Deacon Alan Kamigisha Ronald, and Deacon Anthony Mudoka Kiyoko. Makofi Kwaona Bikelekele. And now I invite those who have their stalls and dalmatic to come forward. And now it's time for vestment. Karibuni sana. Kwaya mtuongoze kwa wimbo wa kushangilia na kusherekea mandugu zetu. Wakati huu we have the newest icons. Asemase wapya na tuweze kushangilia, tuweze kufurahia sisi wote tuweze kufurahia zawadi ambao tumeupata.
of the book of the gospel. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. This moment we welcome Nancy to congratulate our newly ordained deacons and also our school to welcome to Fadali. Na mapadre wenye wako tafadhali, we congratulate our brothers. Alafu baadaye tutaruhusu tu wazazi ndio watakuja. Wale wengine tutapata nafasi baada ya misa. So kwa furaha sisi wote tuweze kushangilia ndugu zetu. At this moment we are congratulating our brothers beginning with our nuncio and also our superior and we will only allow the parents or the representative that will come others you will congratulate our brothers later after the mass
tuweze kusalimia wa deacons tafadhali deacons tu wapungie mkono asante sana pigelegele na jangwe watu kutoka machakos kutoka hoima na watu kutoka mkumari na huma Fadhali tukae ni wakati wa sadaka. Kwaya tuongoze kwa wimbo wa sadaka.
finally to end the new one, those who are leading us in the procession of presentation of offertory, let us go behind and prepare.
wise and just, may be acceptable to God, God the Almighty Father. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and to set us so an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service and grant that, offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. to the Lord our God. It is right and It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with, with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, Lord, with the all angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these festivals. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and the recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. We sing Joseph as spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Vincent de Paul, St. Louis de Mariac, St. Catherine Abore, St. Justin de Jacobis, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim charge on earth with your servant Francis our Pope our main celebrant here, Bishop Matthias Van Negen, our local ordinary, Bishop Philip Agnolo, his auxiliary, David Kamau, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather yourself, all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
enlightened and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
ni wakati wa communion na ni wa katoliki wale ambao wako tayari kupokea sakramenti ndio wanaweza na mapadri ni wasemasi watakuja pale tupo uweze kupokea kwa upole it's time for communion and only those catholic christian prepared for the reception of the eucharist are allowed so therefore we may come priest will come unto us and also deacons that we may receive solemnly the person in charge of the ambulance tafadhali you are required ambulance
basi tutulie kidogo tafakari kuhusu sacrament ya bodi tunapokea let us meditate a little bit on the sacrament we've just received wakati huu ni wakati wa Thanksgiving tunaalika kwaya mtuongoze kwa wimbo wa shukrani na tutaongozwa Thanksgiving with CWA na pia the newly ordained ili tuweze kushangilia na pia kushukuru Mungu sisi wote tusimame kwa wimbo wa shukrani let us all stand for the Thanksgiving song Weze kufurahia, weze kushangilia, sisi kutu.
artesano. Sou Chesa, tu peru de pali. Sisi wote tusimame kwa sala baada ya komunio. Let us pray. Grant O Lord to your servants whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel of the sacraments and of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We may be seated. Tukai. His Excellency Archbishop Matthews Maria Van Megen, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, Very Reverend Edwin Mugwe, Vice Provincial of the Vice Province of Kenya, Congregation of the Mission. Very Reverend Ignatius Mukanzi, Rector of the Paul Center. Father Julius Minor, Vocation Director. Novice Director, Father Dominic Macau. All the Fumitas, all the parish priests present, all the priests from the Congregation of the Mission, from different apostolic insertions. Parish priests from different uh, parishes, both diocesan and congregation and religious. The daughters of charity, Sister Lee Smith, Sister Servant, all the sisters and brothers from all the congregations, Christian from different parts of the country and also outside the country. I take this opportunity now to welcome few to give their speeches and also their congratulations to our brothers and they will talk on behalf of all of us. Allow me now to welcome Mary Kuniri Hira, parent representative of the deacons. Mary Kuniri Hira is the aunt to deacon Alan Kamugisha Ronald. Welcome, Mary. His Excellency the Bishop Habatus Matthias Maria Mungeni, Very Reverend Edwin Mungeni, Vista of the Vice Province of Kenya, 
Very Reverend Ignatius Mukanzi, Director of St. Vincent de Paul Seminary. All religious leaders, all religious men and women, and all people of God. On behalf of the parents of the newly ordained deacon, Reverend Deacon Alani Kamugisha Ronald, Reverend Deacon Anthony Chioko, and Reverend Deacon Alex Odie. I must thank God for this day. I also thank God for Deacon Alan. I thank the deacons for the patience they have shown throughout their years of study. I thank the friends who have helped them to reach this level of their studies. Many thanks go to the formators who have helped them in their formation and have managed to make them a success. Lastly, our prayer is that you make it towards priesthood. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, Makofi. And now allow me to call one of the newly ordained deacons to talk on behalf of all of them, Deacon Alan Kamugisha Ronald. Welcome. His Excellency, the Archbishop Habatus Matthews Maria Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, very Reverend Edwin Mugwe, visitor of the Vice Province of Kenya, very Reverend Ignatius Mukanzi, the Rector of St. Vincent de Paul Seminary, all superiors and rectors of different religious communities, Confreers of the Congregation of the Mission, our fellow Reverend Deacon Owen Mwene, Daughters of Charity in Absentia, all religious men and women, seminarians, our parents and relatives, and our friends, good afternoon to you all. God is good, and all the time, Thank you. On behalf of my fellow brothers whom have been ordained with today, that is Reverend Deacon Anthony Kyoko and Reverend Deacon Alex Odi, I stand before you to express our gratitude to God. We thank the Almighty God who has called us, and today he has given us the gift of diaconate ministry. We are aware that our main agenda is God's project. By totally surrendering to God today, we have been invited to humble ourselves and use our positive energy to serve the people of God fully. We started together the journey of initial formation in 2015, January, went through different stages of the initial formation and here we are today as deacons, we thank the Lord. We extend our sincere gratitude to His Excellency, the Most Reverend Archbishop Habatus Matthews Maria Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan for having accepted to come and ordain us as deacons. God bless you. 
To our visitor of the Vice Province of Kenya, Most Reverend Father Edwin Mugwe, we convey our gratitude to you for your presence and support. Thank you. May God bless you. To our beloved heads of different religious organizations, you too, you are most welcome. The Rector of St. Vincent de Paul Seminary, Very Reverend Ignatius Mukanzi, we recognize your presence too. We humbly extend our gratitude to you that thank you for being a true disciple of Christ, a parent and a mentor. Rectors and superiors of different communities and institutions, thank you for coming. To our formators and superior directors who have been journeying with us at different levels of initial formation, those from Kenya and those from the western and eastern provinces of the United States of America. You have taught us high moral standards of living. We have been learning from you practical way of life. When you live this simplicity, humility, zeal, love, as well as helping us in as far as brotherly correction is concerned. Today we are deacons because of your tireless efforts and we promise you that we will be good and humble deacons as we serve the people of God and we will do good things that help us to grow more and more in maturity. Dear friends, I would like to say that some of the things I have learned in the initial formation of the Vincentian family is that a true Vincentian family, a true Vincentian member is always humble and simple, like a lamb. Not like a sheep, but like a lamb. Why do I not state a sheep? A sheep can hit you, but a lamb will never hit you. It is always very simple and humble. I believe whoever you meet, whoever we always meet outside there as Vincentians, we, it, it's easier for him or her to recognize that this is a Vincentian based on the, uh, the two values I've uh, aired out. To our beloved confreers of the Congregation of the Mission, thank you for your support. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining with us. May God bless you, and please don't get tired. Continue to support us in different ways. May God bless you, too. I recognize as well the presence of various priests in our midst from different communities. Thank you, you. Thank you too for coming and thank you for loving us. All religious men and women, sisters and brothers of different institutions and communities, thank you too for coming. I recognize the presence of Christians from Blessed Sacrament Oriang Parish Homobe. Nyasai Ber. Belmor. Erokamano Kuom Herwa. We also have our beloved Christians from Sacred Heart in Bitini Parish, Machakos Diocese. Sasa Nimeskia Makelele Mengi Lakini Sijui Yamekakea Okapidegani. Akilisto Kamango Deu Yayasum Bitini Parish Muevo Neai Nimuseo Mavinda Ode Nimoveo Queundu Wakuka Ngai Amoadime 
I feel also the presence of our loving Christians from different uh, parishes. Let's also hear the, their voices. Perhaps they might be present. A Christo Ascent Vicent de Paul, Yafugu, Holy Cross, Vigio, Na A Christo Ode, Murio Kua. Gai ni mwega. Televisio de. Gai ni mwega. Ni mo Newe gamuno ne kotweda gai amula di memono. Sasa ntaongea ile lugha ya nyumbani kidogo. E ya Burgandu Kristu mwe bale kuja kama abahi omugisa. Lastly, our beloved parents and relatives, you have taught us religion, good morals, you fought for us, you toiled every day to look for bread to feed us. Sometimes we brought shame to you as growing kids, but you covered it all and continue to toil for us. May God bless you, may he bless the works of your hands. May the Lord grant you more grace to continue believing, serving, and glorifying Him. You will always be in our prayers. Our benefactors who have committed themselves to support us in different aspects of life, God bless you too. To our brothers, very special as well, in the initial formation, we shed tears in difficult moments you looked for a cloth to rub them off. In times of joy, we celebrated together with you, and you reflected Christ's love. Today, we celebrate the joy of ordination because of you. God bless you. We'll continue to pray for you to fulfill your goals. The staff at St. Vincent de Paul Seminary, thank you for your great support. All our friends from different areas, thank you for joining with us sometimes. Some of our friends, once we have gotten some ministry, some tend to run away. But we have passed through a very worthy uh, formation, and our work is straight to pray for you more and more. Now, as I conclude, I would like to say thank you to you all. May God bless you all. Thank you for loving the Vincentian family. On behalf of the Daughters of Charity in Absentia, we convey congratulations on their behalf, especially on behalf of Sister Liz, who is Sister Servant, of the Daughters of Charity. They are not here with us because of commitment. Now, on behalf of the double family, allow me to welcome very Reverend Ignatius Mukanzi, Rector of DePaul Center. Thereafter, he will welcome uh, our visitor. Welcome, Father. God is good all the time and all the time God is good kila Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati This is the day Let us rejoice and be glad in this His Excellency Archbishop Bad Ben Megan the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, our Provincial Superior Father Edwin Mugwe, Provincial Superiors represented here, Parish Priests, our newly ordained Deacons, Deacon Anthony Kiyoko, Deacon Alex Odi Odieno, Deacon Alan Kamkisha, 
religious men and women, parents to our newly ordained deacons, and all guests. Tumsifu Jesu Christu. Tumsifu Tena. Mine is to thank from the bottom of my heart. Mine is to thank Almighty God and to thank His Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, for ordaining our men as deacons. Asante sana, mwakilishu wa Baba Mtakatifu, His Excellency, Bad Ben Megan. I don't have much, but I just want to show you the team that I work with here. I'm not just doing this job alone. We work as a team, and I love being a formator. Our formators, please arise. We have Father Angela Zunyagi, who is the Dean Academic Life. Father Michael Njeru, who is the Dean Student Life. We have Father Dominic Munyao, who is the Novice Director. Father John Bosco Idiama, who is the Chief Finance Officer here in the Four Center. We do not just work as formators here at Fanyitu Kazi Kamawalezi. Tena, we have an executive team. Members of the executive team, formators and members of the executive team, please arise. We have Brother Jim Dunleby, we have Alex, we have Agnes, uh, we have Evans. We work with the lady here, Ndio Malaysia na Kuwa Mazuri. Haba, tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu, tunafanya kazi pamoja kama walezi. Asanteni sana kwa zawadi ya watoto ambao mmewatoa ili wamutumikia mungu kama mashemasi. Thank you very much for gracing us this day. And now I invite our provincial superior for the Edwin Mugwe to come address us. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. God is good. All the time. Your Excellency, the Baptist Maria Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, dear Reverend Father Ignatius, Director and Superior of the Poor Community, dear Confreas, Reverend Fathers and Brothers, Reverend fathers, religious men and women, consecrated laity, dear brothers and sisters, I'm pleased to greet the newly ordained deacons, Deacon Anthony, Deacon Alex, and Deacon Alan, together with the rector and seminary formators, and the many family members and friends gathered here at the Paul Center today to celebrate the happy occasion of the Acclimate Ordination. Dear brothers newly ordained, Hongera Sana, in your service for the church, may you always find joy in following the example of the Master, Jesus Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve, who freely chose in loving obedience to the will of the Father to give his life for the salvation of the world. Follow him, Jesus Christ, evangelizing the poor, and offer your lives, your energy, your youthfulness, your knowledge. This way you shall succeed. I want to assure you of my heartfelt prayers for the ministry ahead of you, which will be entrusted to you and I want to commend you in the words of Apostle Paul to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you the inheritance among those who are sanctified. And in the years during your formation, you discern your vocation. Each one of you has come to know something of the immense power of God's word to bring wisdom, strength, and peace 
to human hearts. You have come to appreciate God's enduring mercy. For we are all unworthy of this vocation. Perhaps to use the words of King David in 2 Samuel chapter 7. Who am I, O Lord God, and what is my house that you have brought me to this point? May this question help you to be more humble. Thanks, Deacon Allen, for mentioning that. Be more humble to Lord's providence. Always giving thanks to him. For he has allowed you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. And in spite of all our unworthiness, God calls us to this vocation. John's Gospel, chapter 15. These words consoled me. And may they, they, may, may they console you as well. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. And I commission you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Dear friends gathered here, we, the Vincentians, celebrate 400 years of existence. Your Excellency, on April 17, 1625, a contract document was signed and handed to the then Monsieur Vincent de Paul, signifying the founding of our congregation. We are now spread to over 93 countries in the world. We have about 3,900 missionaries. We have spread to about 21 countries in Africa and still growing. In Kenya, we have 43 board members. And it's interesting because the charism of St. Vincent came to this country in December 1980. So the December of this year will be 43 years old. And we are 43 members. To God be praised. We have over 30 students in formation. We are spread to six counties here in Kenya, working in five parishes, three diocesan seminaries. We have our own formation house here. We have faculty members at Tangaza University College. We also serve the community through other important programs, such as woodworking, agriculture, education, social outreach, and so many others. In a few days, 31st of May, we shall celebrate our first anniversary as a vice province. The Lord has continued to bless this family. Say amen. amen. We give praise to the Lord for his kindness and providence. In words of St. Vincent, grace has its moments. The things of God come about by themselves and that wisdom consists in following providence step by step. And in this year, we want to invite you all to pray with us and for us. Because we have been asked to revitalize our identity, to rediscover the beauty of the Vincentian vocation, which is essential to a call to discipleship, to follow Jesus all the more. We are a congregation of missionaries. We want to go far and wide in order to evangelize. And I have great faith that these three young men, energetic as they are, they are going to carry the Vincentian charism to far places. We are now planning to go to Uganda. We shall be coming to Uganda. Pray for us that you may remain steadfast in this Vincentian vocation. I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for accepting to ordain our men to diaconate. This is a great honor. This is a great honor. And I've always admired your homilies, and today you really nourish my soul. Thanks so much. Anytime you preach to our people, anytime you visit our communities, it's always a big blessing. You have sacrificed your time to be with us today like a good shepherd. 
And I can only imagine the amount of work you have to do every day. As an ambassador, as a permanent observer for UN Habitat, the journeys that you have to make to South Sudan and all over Kenya, may God bless you. Your fatherly love and care, the great counsel that you have shared with us, we shall forever be grateful. Our dear brothers, I know in their hearts they will remember this day. You are a great example to us, Your Excellency, for you are humble, and I want to mention this more sincerely. You are humble, you are welcoming, and you are hardworking. Thank you. We want to assure you our prayers as you undertake that great ministry God has given you. So, dear brothers, let me convey greetings and messages from the Superior General, Father Thomas Maurich and his council, visitor of Western Province, Father Pat and his council, received similar messages from Corvium, our Continental Conference of Superiors in Africa and Madagascar. So many conferences and community have shared their prayers and kind wishes. Thanks to all conferences gathered here, dear brothers. I'm really humbled by your presence. You have always offered to travel long distances to be with us and to be with this community. Thanks for your sacrifice, dear conferences. May the Lord bless the missions. May the Lord reward your every effort. In a special way, I wish to recognize Father Rector, Reverend Father Ignatius Mukanzi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And your team, you have taken care of this young man, but you have even gone further to take care of this community. This is home for us. May God bless you together with the four meters. I wish to thank the Daughters of Charity. And I, I think I can see some. Kindly, all the Daughters of Charity be upstanding. We just want to recognize you. Thank you so much. I know there's something going on uh, at their regional house next door. So that, that's the reason why they're not here. We wish to recognize you. We wish also to recognize so many religious people, dear sisters, I can see you all, and brothers, I want to recognize you all. Perhaps it's good for all the CMs to stand, for you to see our family, kindly, the CMs. Let us clap for them. In a special way, I wish to express to the parents and family members of the new deacons, receive our gratitude. Receive this many thanks for the witness of your own faith, which you have contributed in no small way to the joy of this day. May God reward you for the sacrifice you have made on behalf of your sons and brothers, and for the encouragement and support which you give them each and every day. You taught them faith. You taught them how to be good. We want to entrust to you our prayers, loving protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Our prayers are with you, and we willingly want to extend the same to the family members back at, back at home, and the moment you do, you make your travels, may God protect you. There are so many other people following us online. I wish to recognize your virtual presence with us. Thanks for praying with us from the different parts of the world. We greatly appreciate your love and support, and especially for those who are following us from the United States. May God bless you for the love you have for us. I wish to thank everyone gathered here. Asante, sana, 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 and may God bless you all. And lastly, just to mention, we, I wish to mention the apostolic, apostolic assignment for our new deacons. Deacon Alex Otieno, Deacon Alex Odiotieno has been sent to St. Kizito Matisi in the Diocese of Kitabi. 
Bishop Aaron Kamugisha has been sent to St. Vincent de Paul Yagogo Parish in Agdalsis of Nyeri. Deacon Anthony Mogoka has been sent to Our Lady of Assumption Parish in Dangarasia in Kakamega County. Uh, May God bless each one of you. I wish now to invite uh, Your Excellency, uh, this possibility that you have some few words to mention to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Father Edwin, Father Ignatius, the other priests present here, my brother priest, and of course the new deacons, Alan, Alan, Anthony, and Alex, and of course then uh, the religious brothers and sisters, people of God, in a special way, the family members of our three newly ordained deacons, Tumsifo Jesu Christo, and you know, when I was uh, listening to the different speeches, I was thinking of my own uh, diaconate ordination long ago, 1986, in the Netherlands. Some of you probably were not born yet at that point. <laughs> and uh, I had to think of my parents, seeing you parents. My parents, actually, when I told them in 1980, the time that this society came to, to Kenya. When I told my parents in 1980 I wanted to go to, my, to the seminary, my father said, over my dead body. <laughs> it's not going to happen, not in my lifetime. And I know that my mother was crying, crying, crying. And uh, like, there was a lot of confusion and chaos at home that I can tell. And um, frankly speaking, it took them a long time to get used to the idea that one of their sons was going to the seminary. It was only many, many, many years later, I was already a priest, but still in the Netherlands, once having a talk with my father, he said to me, you know, Bert, when we got married, my father and my mother, when we got married, I always prayed that one of my sons would become a priest. <laughs> but I never thought of you. <laughs> because in one, in one way or, not, or the other, I was the most unpriestly of the sons. <laughs> you see, things happen. And it is only later on, actually, in life, you know, Father Edwin was mentioning, you know, that we are mission and we go out far into the missions. That happened to me as well. You know, in 1986, I had no clue what was going to happen in my life. By the way, deacons, many things, many things will happen in your life that you were not even, you never thought that it would happen. And that happens also, of course, And that happens, of course, also in the life of married people. When you're married, when you get to a wedding, it's all nice and beautiful. But then the next day, the problems start already. <laughs> and that is part of our lives. And that is true for deacons and priests as well. Life is a challenge. And um, me, as a young deacon, I still remember that my bishop came to me and was asking me, like, you know, Bert, which parish would you like to go to? And I was very gracious. I said to him, you know, Your, Your Excellency, really, I don't care. As long as it is not, and it was a city nearby, Heerlen, because Heerlen was a city full of drugs and prostitutes, and I didn't want to go there. And you can already guess what happened. What happened. So he sent me to the worst neighborhood of that city where the prostitutes 
and the drug dealers were standing in front of my house every night and every morning. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we had some good discussions about the quality of drugs. So that was a good thing. <laughs> But what I thought later on, you know, later on I, I went into the diplomatic service, my bishop sent me there, basically I had no clue what was all going to happen. In the meantime, I've been in eight countries. So Kenya is my eighth country. And just as I was sitting here, it crossed my mind that in 1986, I think, I went to watch a movie as a seminarian at the end of my studies. The movie was called Out of Africa. And it was this story about Karen Blixen. And here we are in Karen. It's just around the corner here. <laughs> I had already seen you in the movie. <laughs> you see how life goes. You see how life goes. Finally, you just to appreciate and that it's very important, I think, the parents. And I think. For all people, when you get a bit older, you understand that more maybe, you need to mature a bit, you need to grow up a bit. The older you get, the more you understand how much you got from your parents. That much of what you are, much of the way you do, much of your qualities, also much of your weaknesses, by the way, they come from your parents. And if I am where I am today, and it is also thanks to my parents who gave me those qualities, who gave me a good upbringing, a good education. Thanks to my parents who loved me, who cared for me, who tried to promote in me the human values. And that is also, once again, the gratitude I would like to express to you parents as you are sitting here today, because when these guys have been ordained here today, then it is basically because of the good work you have done. So thank you very much. For that. And keep on accompanying them. And maybe at times, like my parents, you might have your doubts and you might think, this son of me, what is he really doing? And does he really know what he is up to? those kind of doubts you might have, and that is very legitimate to have them. But you know, we all have to take risks in life, and that is even with marriage like that, you, with your future husband or wife, and at a certain point you have to jump into the deep and say, okay, I want to continue with this man or with this woman, not knowing exactly what it's all going to bring. And all of us know that once you're on the road, then you start to discover the, discover the many things you are not aware of, once you've married that man or that woman. But it is then together that we grow up, and that is also true for our young men. So keep accompanying them in their further life as long as you can, and you will see the more you invest in them, the more love they'll be able to return to you. That is one of the things, by the way, that is different with other children you might have. Your priest's son, is the one who will always remain close, close to you. Because he or she, he is not married. There is no family. In a sense, he remains more attached to you than the others. So that might be also a good thing at times. He might be the one who cares more. So keep on accompanying him as he accompanies you with his prayer. And with that, I would like to conclude and say that also me, I will pray for you as a representative of the Holy Father. Keep in mind, like in October probably, I will go back to Rome to visit, to see the Holy Father, John, John Franz, uh, what did I say, Pope Francis. Pope Francis, he's very accessible, so basically I just write an email and say, uh, through to his secretary, can I get an appointment? And normally within two weeks, I can be there. So, I will mention also to him once again this event of this diaconate ordination. <laughs> So that he might, might be aware of this church in Kenya, by the way, this beautiful church in Kenya, and that he may pray for you, as the Holy Father does, who includes the prayers of all the Christians all over the world in his heart. So pray for the Holy Father, he prays for you, and then if you still have a few minutes left, also pray for this poor sinner. Thank you very much.
Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, a very reverend uh, Father Edwin, our visitor, the reverend uh, Father Ignatius, the rector, the deacon of the day, the new deacons, my brother priests, religious men and women, and all people of goodwill, Tumsifia Su Christo, Mungu ni Mwema, na Kila Wakati. Let's take this chance to thank each and every one of us for having set aside this day to come and celebrate with our brothers. I begin by thanking the Nuncio. Thanks so much for having time to come and celebrate with us, to come and ordain our brothers. And I'm sure they'll never forget this day. Thank you very much for that time, and may God continue blessing you especially as you serve the people of Kenya and South Sudan. I'd like to thank very Reverend Father Edwin, our visitor, Padre Asante Sana, for having journeyed with our brothers and accepting that our brothers can be ordained. May God continue blessing you as you serve the people of Kenya and Uganda. I want to thank very Reverend Father Ignatius, the Rector and Superior of the Paul Centre, Padre Santa Sana for joining with our young men, and may God continue blessing you. In especially, I also want to thank the formators, those who have journeyed with our three brothers, those currently in the formation team, and those who were their formators before. Asante Sana for being an example to these our brothers. I want to thank in a special way the deacon of the day, my brother who served us at the altar, Shemasi Asante Sana, for serving well. May God bless you as you prepare for your priestly ordination. I want to thank the parents of our brothers, Deacon Alex, Deacon Alan, and Deacon Anthony. Asante Sana Wazazi, thank you so much for having seen it worthy to leave your sons to come and serve the church, especially as in sessions. May God continue blessing your families. I want to thank my brother students, the seminarians of the Paul Centre, for having journeyed with this man. The seminarians are the best formators of this man. Hosea Santeli San, na mungu wa bariki, na pia mwe na matamaniyo ya kufika mahala hapa. I want to thank all the organizers of this event, beginning with the staff at DePaul Center, led by Mr. Evans, and the other staff members, Asante Sana, for giving it all in preparation for this celebration. I want to thank the parishes where our three brothers come from. The parish of Homa Bay, Oriang, the people from Mukomari, eh? People from Bitini and people from Hoima, far away from Uganda. Asante Sana, Thanks for coming and for gracing this occasion and for raising our brothers to be worthy and good Christians. One thing with the religious men and women, beginning with our conferences, those who have journeyed with these our three brothers and who are going to live with them. We believe that you have done a good job here and as you live with them outside there, please continue with the work. Thank you, my brother, confess. The religious men and women, sisters, and the priests who have also graced the occasion. And Padre Nzangwa Santeni Sana for coming. The brothers with Brother Jim, our confrere, and all other brothers, thanks so much for joining with our brothers and for gracing this occasion. I want to thank the Capuchin family 
those who are making sure that right now as I speak, I am live on TV. Thank you so much, the Capuchin family, for gracing this occasion. And I know I'm being viewed very well. So I sometimes sad for that. I want to thank the catering company, those who are ensuring that immediately after this, my brother, Father Kevin, will direct us on where to go and reveal. Those who are preparing meals for us are Santa Nisana. I want to thank the, um, the medical people, the ambulance guys, because they are here. Asante Nisana for coming and making sure that we are safe. And the security people from Hadi Police Station. Thanks so much for coming. I want to thank also our uh, studio man, Reverend Father uh, Mutula and his team. Thanks so much. I'm sure that on Facebook right now I'm being viewed. <laughs> the choir. Begin the choir, Makoff. <laughs> choir from Tasia. Thanks so much for coming. And you have sung so well. Thank you have made me feel fresh. Asante ni san. Namungu wada. Want to thank the PMC. Wapi wale watoto. Begin our watoto Makoff. Thanks so much to PNC. And when you dance, you make me recall some 30 years ago when I was a PMC. Asante Sana PMC. Want to thank the CMA and CWA, especially from Kamonu Parish. CMA, Asante Sana. Thanks so much for coming and for pressing the occasion. We want to thank also. Now. Uh, when I was thanking the choir, I was about to remember that today, uh, me, myself, Father Dominic, Father Dominic, smile for that, and Father Mike, today we celebrate our ordination day. <laughs> and for that reason, please thank us for having lived this priesthood, and may God continue blessing us. Each and every one of us, my brothers and sisters, if I've forgotten you, Kind it simply because we are limited beings. If I was superhuman, I could have remembered each and every person. But because you are limited. Those whom I have not mentioned, Mungu wa Barikisan. Thanks so much for coming and for celebrating with our brothers. And we promise, through our brothers, that we we'll continue living our Vincent and vocation well. Lastly, for the religious men and women, after the second celebration, which my brother, Father Kevin, is going to direct us, we'll be invited to the common room to sign the visitor's book with his grace, so that uh, we can recall that you, you came. So, so, and the others also, the beer book somewhere here can be signed. So, Asante Nisana, na mungu awabariki. Thank you very much, Makofi Kwafala. So allow me to make this announcement. After uh, final blessing, uh, all the priests, we will go to the, our chapel there to finish. And later, we will proceed to the dining hall, which is on the left side of this altar. There is a dining hall here there for all priests and also religious brothers and sisters. So we will assemble there. Then the remaining congregation, we will remain where we are, as we will be directed by the seminarians. There are places that are placed, and as you can see, already some are already set, so you will be directed on how we will go to those places. Otherwise, thank you, Namungu Azidi Kwabariki. Ngependa Kukaribisha, Rector, to present uh, the liturgical book hours to our deacon, so that they may continue to live as deacons, but still pray. Welcome, Father. And I welcome deacons to come in front. So one of the, one of the promises you made just uh, about two hours ago, is that you would recite the liturgy of the hours 
And I think that's a very important part of our lives as a deacon or even as a priest, to pray for others and to pray the prayer of the church. May these books help you to remain faithful sons of the church and servants of Christ. very much. We can now rise for the final blessings. After the blessings, we will immediately take some photos here at the altar. Go. for God's blessings. May God who has called you to the service of others in his church give you great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. 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 May he who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be its sincere and fervent witnesses. Amen. Amen. And may he who has appointed you stewards of his mysteries make you imitators of his son, Jesus Christ, and ministers of unity and peace in the world. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia.
kwa asanteni sana asanteni ni kwa uimbaji mzuri na karibuni kwa awamu yetu ya pili na ya mwisho na ni wakati wa sherehe ni wakati wa kushiriki pamoja kwa chakula ya mwili uh, apostolic nuncio uh, his excellency archbishop uh, van megan the apostolic nuncio to kenya and south sudan our visitor father edwin mugwe uh, our rector the paul center very reverend father ignatius mkanzi na wale wote ambao tumefika hapa siku hii ya leo tumsifu yesu kristu mungu ni mwema kila wakati uh, tunashukuru mungu kwa zawadi ya ndugu zetu ambao siku hii ya leo wame, wameza kupata daraja ya ushemasi na hivyo tumeandaliwa chakula mbele yetu you check on your left you check on your right there is a serving station uh, tungependa kuwakaribisha nyinyi nyote na pia tuwakumbushe in each station chakula ni kile kile uh, just check on your right are you seeing some serving station you are left you are seeing some serving station hapo join hapo penye unaona karibu na tushiriki kwa hiyo chakula uh, religious men and women present uh, tunakaribishwa sisi wote kwa dining hall yetu uh, kule uh, the other side uh, there is our dining hall karibuni wote uh, religious men and women uh, brothers sisters uh, seminarians present uh, wale ambao wametembelea siku hii ya leo uh, tukaribie kule kwenye dining hall uh, pia na tunaambiwa kuwa in case you need some medical services uh, kuna ambulance hapa check uh, on uh, my left there is an ambulance uh, if you need some medical service like kichwa na kuuma vitu kama hizo uh, unaweza pata dawa pale uh, check there is also a uh, dust bins around we don't throw litter all over kuna dust bins check on your uh, probably left right somewhere there uh, all the litter we don't litter the compound to zieke kwenye hizo dust bins if you want to relieve yourselves uh would like to remind you there is a washrooms on my far right behind the Ravasi building uh to end the huko now uh for our choir and pmc choir pmc liturgical dance about tumekuwa na wao hapa siku hii ya leo there is a serving station uh pale tungependa wana choir wetu pamoja na pmc liturgical dancers wanafunzi wetu wa shule to join kwa ile hapo tuanze kupata chakula yetu na sisi wengine we go to the other serving stations we reserve the serving station for choir pmc na liturgical dancers asanteni sana in case there is a lost key there is a lost item azote mtaleta hapa for announcements na tutafute wenyewe asanteni sana choir tuendelee men uh, the parents the two parents mama na baba do will also join the priest in the dining hall the two parents only the two parents not uh, the two parents asanteni sana <laughs> 